to go trust him and make an opportunity. Uh, the juice squad held up and the ball was in the air and it was mono and mono and I just had to make the play. So, uh, you, you look so calm out there. Obviously the game's on the line and you make the biggest play of the night as a 17 year old and people didn't know that already. Can you just talk about what's going through your head and do you feel pressure out there? Nah, there, there was never really any pressure for me because you know I, I knew we prepared well uh, like as a team, a whole team. All week long we prepared very hard, very well. So I, I just felt confident the entire time. Uh, like I said, it gave me an opportunity and I just made it. Stay right. It's one thing when you're open. Yeah. You had to kind of fly for it and then think to do like a 180 all the way back in. What's going through your mind? And that, those, those Man, whenever I, whenever the ball was in the air, like I, I felt it like going to my back shoulder, so I was like, I gotta open up like now. I opened up, I caught it, and I'm running, and I was like, oh, I can't get tackled. So I, I did a spin move, and it was in like slow motion. It was a little faster on the screen, but like I said, man, the juice squad did their part, so I, I had to do mine. What does it mean to be on those stages in those moments with a guy who's you know, playing like that? I trust you with that. What does it mean? Uh, it's honestly a blessing, man. You know, he's he's such an incredible player. Like I, I'm just I'm happy to be around him every day, and that goes for pretty much all our leaders, all our the entire unity council. Our, our defense did a good part. They stepped up. Uh, they had three turnovers, three big turnovers. We didn't capitalize the way we wanted to, but everybody did their part. After what? Georgia took the lead, what was the conversation there before you guys took that field for that one play for you? You got to score. Like, it, it was just that simple. Uh, you know, on the sideline, like every every drive, you know, that's the that's the goal anyway. But it, it was, uh, we definitely had to be able to know. Brian, where does the work still have for us? Like, you're kind of late, you know, scooping down the sideline the way you did. Uh, I, I get them from my dog Jerm and uh, Jalen and Bakwe. They, they teach me a little something. It's Bach's birthday, by the way, so y'all make sure y'all tell them happy birthday. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all my all my older guys, they they do it every day in practice, so I gotta pick up some. You make your birthday gift to him. Is that your birthday gift to him? That's oh, yeah, game. definitely. Yeah, definitely. Uh, his birthday gift. You make the play on offense. Xavier Brown makes the play on defense. Two freshmen. I mean, can you talk about your relationship with him and what a big time moment that is for a guy like that to step up? Man, that's my dog. We like 2 2. And I'm pretty sure he said the same thing over there. But, uh, yeah, before it's crazy because we played NCAA last night and it was like a close game and he caught the game winner pick six. So this morning I was like, bro, you going to catch a pick? And he was like, of course, like, that's what I'm going to try to do anyway. And then, you know, game winner interception. I was like, man. And we called it. I was screaming. That's how I lost my voice because I was screaming. I was like, I told you. I told you. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how I lost my voice. What was your reaction when you heard the play call for that, for the bomb to you? Uh, I'm going to be honest. Like, I knew anybody all, all the way across the board, anybody could have made that play. So, I was just running my route to uh, win. And I knew my guys were too. So, yeah, it was just somebody going in right here. You know you have that go route though. Do you do you tell Jalen anything heading into the? You hit? Were you confident that you were going to be open there? Did you kind of give him a nudge and say, "Hey, throw it my way"? Or I usually don't even have to. You know, he know four plus two equals six. I know four plus two equals six. So the ball is just going in. We gotta make it make it you know do to do. You don't ever do the Randy Moss stick your hand up left now you're open. Nah, he he. I ain't gotta be a mailbox. He know he knows up. <laughs> Have you seen a replay of the spin move? I haven't. Well, I seen I seen a little bit of it on the jumbotron, and it looked a little faster. But I swear, whenever I was doing it, it felt like it was so much. What was the environment like from your perspective down on the field? Was it as loud as it was for us? Uh, it, it was definitely loud, but I, I think, like I said, we've been preparing all week, so it was more so, you know, the entire offense. We were kind of zoned out on the on the crowd noise, and we were focused on what we had to do. Jalen looked better in the intermediate game. Is that something you've been noticing with him more often and just his ability to kind of spray the ball out at all levels? Uh, yeah, like I said, like I said in the beginning, he's a tremendous player. He, he gets better every single day. I, I can't stress it enough. He literally gets better every single day. And that's everybody because we have that type of environment where everybody, like if you ain't getting better, you ain't looking at the person next to you. So everybody on IT gets better every single day. So I, I expect that. How did you know you were going to shine against Georgia? Obviously, you've had the great performances against uh, some non-SEC competition, but how did you know Georgia was going to be one of the games that you showed up? I mean, I, honestly, I didn't. You know, I was just, I just was in. The, I had the opportunity to make those plays. Like I said, any of our receivers, we have like the takers. 
you really take the ball. Like E Man had a, a tremendous catch at the beginning of the uh, game to spark it for us. Uh, like I, I didn't know it was gonna be me, but you know I, I was glad that I was able to help my support my team to uh, finish the game. Does this feel real to you? Has any of this set in yet? No, nah, I think it, it, it's usually it just feels like a dream, and I just keep going. The dream, I, I like the dream. What does it say about you guys? Yeah, that much, they come back and hit you in the mouth, and you guys still what it takes to come back and make the play. It's really just the winning on mentality. We stress it every single day. I mean, we should have, they should have never been in a, a situation to be able to come back. We were supposed to just keep our foot on the gas, but they did, and we just knew adversity is going to hit at some point, so we just got to do what we have to do to uh, fight back. And they threw their hardest punch, so we had to still win better. Pretty big time introduction to SEC football. So what are you talking about? Uh, it's a dream. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a blessing that I'm up here. You know, show a lot of dollars. And yeah, I have this opportunity. Yeah. 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 It's, it's crazy. Did, did it feel like what you thought it was though? Like taking the field, seeing Georgia, you know, the back and forth kind of thing? I mean, is it what you thought it would be? Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, I have some guys that's been here once we played against these guys. So, you know, of course they told me, like, it's going to be a good game. You know, I have to play all four quarters. Yeah. Hey Ryan, after the game, Kirby, I think, came and found you. What did he say? Uh, he was just telling me I was a really good player. You know, we had a relationship during my recruiting process, so we just like, had a quick catch up. So we gave your recruiting process. You had to, you know, develop a relationship with Coach DeBoer. What won you over with him? Uh, I think I've said this a couple times, but just him being himself. Like, you know, not trying to uh, be like Coach Saban, but being his own man and doing it the way that he wants to do it. So whenever, you know, we had that conversation, I, he completely, he won me over. Um, how much of a statement do you think you guys made that Alabama hasn't lost a step now that it is the board and Saban is, is, is gone, and but you guys are still beating Georgia? And <laughs> uh, you know, we just we just <laughs> we just had to uh, do what we had to do to you know win the game, and I mean we we didn't really we don't really try to look into that because you know every game is a big game because it's the next one, but. Uh, we, we definitely were glad to, you know, make sure everybody knew Coach DeBoer knew what he was doing. How was Coach DeBoer able to help you guys stay calm and stay focused when Georgia did rush back? Uh, I mean, he talked to us a little bit, you know, but at the end of the day, it's football, and he knows, he believes in us, so, you know, we just take that and do it. Ryan, before your, your touchdown, was there anything you said to yourself in your head? What, what was going on in your head before that play? If anybody, if don't nobody else want to make a play, two got to make a play. Somebody going to make a play, and I, hey, a play don't care who make it. So I was like, why not me? Were you all stressed out when the game was getting away from you? No. No? No. It was, everybody was composed. Uh, we were just talking to each other, make, keeping each other, you know, level-headed because, I mean, it, sometimes it happens like that. <laughs> Just trying to win the game, do a good, good win. That move on the touchdown, people are going to talk about that all fall, I think, maybe beyond. <laughs> um, does that happen in some level of consciousness that even you can't explain? Yeah, it's pretty unexplainable, I'm going to be honest, because like, it, it just happens. Like, I, I can't really tell you how it happened. You know? uh, I just had the ball, and the end zone looked pretty close. So. <laughs> I had to get there. <laughs> CJ Dupree said it's kind of like you're in a simulation when you play. I mean, uh, how much do you feel like you're in just a video game when you're playing? Man, like I said, we was playing just yesterday, and I think my stuff is pretty similar. But, you know, uh, it, it always feels like a video game. Just the opportunity to play at this stage with my guys, that, and we work so hard together. So this is the fun part. Like, we work so hard during the week. That once we get here, it gotta feel like a